We're here with Nikola Mishkovic at the Under-18 European Championship. Nikola, how is uh, Slovakia treating you so far? Well, it's treating well since, the, since today. <laughs> uh, because I think we had a tough loss yesterday. We were leading, we were playing really good. Especially the first quarter of the game, we were leading by 20 points against Spain. It was like lack of, lack of, I think we lost because of the lack of experience. But today we showed the character and uh, it was a great combat, comeback from the team and everybody played well, tough D and I want to congratulate all the guys to effort uh, and that's it. I think it will be better and better uh, from day to day. It's a really talented roster you guys have here in Serbia, especially in the front court. Um, you know, three big guys that can already play, already skilled. Uh, you have a big role in this team. You're a go-to guy here. How do you fit in um, to this roster? What has the coach told you about what your role is on this team? I think uh, my role is to, is to lead the team as a uh, most experienced guy here. Uh, I think we had uh, Marco, who is also there, and uh, Alexa uh, at the point. So I think... Uh, but a lot of but a lot of guys uh, but again depends on the, from the lot of guys we saw here today we have a a good bench and uh, I think uh, they will bring more and more as the uh, championship goes I think we'll play better and better it's for sure I think we have good coach who knows he's he was a senior coach he he was already the champion of Europe before with the youth category so I think it should be no problem to us. Tell me a little bit about how your game is evolving since the last time we spoke with you. Uh, you know, what are some of the things that you've been working on and, and how do you feel like you're progressing as a basketball player? I think I had a, a good tournament in Istanbul since we, because we spoke last time in Helsinki. I think I had a really good tournament in Istanbul and a really good uh, final tournament in uh, Serbian finals. I've been working a lot on, I think, uh, on the shot, uh, on playing some uh, isolations, and uh, I think I have to work a lot uh, physically because uh, because I will play it next year against uh, much bigger guys and the guys who are not my age, and uh, I think uh, everything's going fine and great, so no worries. <laughs> We've seen you playing um, minutes at, the, at small forward and also at power forward. This is a very important position in basketball now, and we're seeing a lot of coaches like to play smaller and smaller, including here, this team, and uh, your Serbian team. How do you fit into this new style of basketball, and, and, and what do you need to improve on to continue to find a niche at this forward position? Uh, I, think, uh, I think I'm a small forward, but... Uh as you said, as the game is evolving and everything's going faster and faster. Uh, but I think power forward is more important position than a small forward because he's like a point guard. He's like the connection between the power for between the point guard. Uh, so I think uh, I feel good at both the positions. I love to stretch a court on the four. Uh, I I literally play more outside when I'm four because the guys are slower than me and uh, if it's not slower, if it's stronger, I have like, I think I have good first step to, to penetrate. But when I'm on a small forward, I try to go more on the offensive rebound to grab boards and uh, to play on the low post. I think I can play good on the post. Any guys that you really enjoy watching uh, in, from Serbia, or guys in the EuroLeague or, or NBA players? I enjoy like all the Serbian players who play good because this is. Uh, I'm proud when I see the players from our country playing good, and it's only sign that basketball in Serbia is getting even better and better. We have uh, like a lot of basketball players from Serbia, ex Yugoslavia, changed the uh, changed basketball, and uh, I love I love to see the, I love to see and I can't wait to see Teodosic Bogdanovic. Uh, in the NBA and to see how will Jokic go next season because he had a monster season this year with all, with all the triple doubles and 
stuff. So I think maybe all star next year. Why not? Great stuff, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.